All right, quick video on why the top three reasons why people never progress. All right, number one is people don't do intervals. They just ride mediumly hard the whole time. They never really go full gas. They don't um, know exactly what intervals they're gonna do. They just say like, oh, I'm gonna go out and ride hard. I was like, okay, well, that's just irrelevant. Or um, maybe they'll do one like five minute effort occasionally for a Strava segment, but they'll never actually, you know, have set intervals at set power zones so they can always just avoid them. So they won't have like five times five minutes with five minutes rest at 350 watts. That's their goal. And they know what their minimum is. So let's say their minimum is 330. If they go below 330, they're going to quit. And their maximum is like 400, let's say. People don't do that. People will just be like, oh, I'm going to do like a five minute effort today and then I'll rest a bit and maybe do a 10 minute effort today. I mean, like sometimes I do this, but I'm just trying to say if you're not improving, this is probably why. So number one, just pick intervals. And if you're not doing intervals, it's probably why you're not getting faster. So do some decent intervals and you'll get faster. Number two is not having a plan. Um, so you just don't know when you're training. Um, like even just a rough plan, like, okay, Monday, you know, rest day, Tuesday, I'm going to do some VO2 intervals. Wednesday, I'm going to do endurance ride. Thursday, I'll do sweet spot. Friday, rest day. Saturday, Sunday, endurance rides with a bit sweet spot. Done. But people instead just like, oh, today, I'm going to have a rest day. Normally, like, on Monday, Friday, I'll rest day. And then Tuesday, I'll, be like, I'll go hard. But they don't know what, how hard they're going to go. They don't know what intervals they're going to do. It's a similar topic, but it's just not being prepared, not having a plan, not knowing when to have a rest week. They just seem to train mediumly hard the whole time. And that's the main thing. All right, so number, number three, I would say, um, is people don't test themselves. So depends where you live, but it can be quite hard to test yourself. Or not hard, but you just have to make a bit more of an effort. Like if you live and you're lucky to live somewhere next to a 20 minute climb, like you've got no excuses. Like if you, like you should be testing yourself every four weeks minimum to see if you're getting better or slower and like what your training's doing. Like you should be, if you wanna get faster. But if you live, let's say somewhere a little bit harder, maybe London, maybe a city where there's no 20 minute climb, there's even 20 minutes of flat, then it's very easy to get into this thing of like, oh, I can't test myself, oh, I don't wanna test myself. But it's like there are, cause you can do it on the indoor trainer or the ramp test or the eight minute test. Like for me, I can just do an eight minute test on a climb. So eight minutes on and I think it's 10 minutes off and then eight minutes on, you take 90% of the average of those two eight minute efforts and off you go. But anyway, so yeah, I think those are the main reasons why people don't get faster, very easy. And yeah, you know, I mean, the fourth one, it's not really a fourth one, but it's just like, I'm, I'm just getting tired. The fourth one is just like going mediumly hard the whole time. So like you never go full gas on your intervals, you just go like tempo the whole time. But that's mainly just to do with not having a structured training plan, not figuring out what you want to do. But you don't even need a plan, you just need to be like, today I'm going to do Strava efforts, I'm going to go for three five minute efforts with full recovery in between. You will get faster doing that. Today I'm just going to do four hours at 200 watts easy. It's like, you know, they're all sort of related though, because you can't do that. And like you can't figure out what your endurance zone is unless you really have a fitness test and know how fast you are. So anyway, I hope this helps if you're not improving. I often get into these traps of like, recently where you know, like the last four weeks in time, I just didn't train properly. I did, was doing like 15 hours on the bike, but not getting faster because I wasn't doing anything structured. I was just sort of riding when I wanted to do, intensity when I wanted to do. And that's fine if you don't care about getting fast, but if you want to get fast, then you've got to do intensity and you've got to be like have your intervals, have your training plan and test yourself to see if you're getting faster or not. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope this does help and I'll see you in the next vid.